So here we are at uh, 2018 APWA, PWX, and what we brought with us this year is going back to 2011 when we uh, introduced our first concept vehicle, proof of concept. And the objective of having this machine come together in 2011 was blending electric, uh, hydraulics, and mechanicals, all of those technologies into one vehicle. So we've ended up with um, you know, a very rugged, rough terrain, four-wheel drive frame, a lot of Caterpillar content, a lot of Chevrolet Volt, electronic content, uh, agriculture, hydraulic, all of those concepts and technologies rolled into one vehicle. There's actually another prototype uh, version that we had in place uh, that we got a lot of uh, technology and value out of. But we commercialized this uh, version three, and it is here, uh, generation three. The concept we were after was, of course, multitasking, uh, being able to have any attachments on either end, being able to lift, carry, being able to export hydraulic power, being able to export electric power. So being able to work every day, doing whatever the seasonal task might be, or being able to be an emergency responder and be an electric generator, if you will, and have exportable power. So many different configurations was the objective for uh, Public Works, and that has been further refined, and uh, being able to plug and play different cabs, different operator stations, uh, remote controls, different seats, steering wheels, user interfaces, anything that allows a fleet manager to configure the vehicle the way he wants. So introduced just two months ago is our latest generation four. We also brought uh, a brand new proof of concept, very small, um, what we call 2.0, and the idea is for city parks, uh, smaller campuses, sidewalks, zoos, and so forth. Getting great feedback and response and very good input from the end users that are looking for a small version. The large uh, version that we've been working on now for seven years, and I've brought that together, can be completely zero emission, full electric. And uh, the configurability is still that, in that you can configure how much electricity do you really want on the vehicle. Uh, we are using, with great partners like BMW and, and Parker and Dana and Cummins, engineering partners that have allowed us to have maximum configurability. So we can have up to 12 uh, automobile electric packs, BMW packs on board. So it's an ideal electric vehicle to export power. And it's at the same time, these surfaces allow us to have any kind of attachment on the surface and on the ends. Maximum configurability and being able to choose what kind of hybrid power you want, uh, both electric and, and hydraulic.